Our final award this evening proudly goes to General John Shod. General Shod, please come forward. Once again, please direct your attention to the screens. General Shod has spent a lifetime of devoted service to the mission, the people, and the future leaders of the United States Air Force. Initially, he was a B-47 pilot, later transitioning to the B-52 and becoming an aircraft commander. He logged over 5,600 flight hours, of which 251 were in combat and he flew more than 35 different types of aircraft. In Pentagon assignments, he was the Air Force Director of Plans and the Deputy Chief of Staff for Personnel. On leaving the Pentagon, he became Commander of Air Training Command, followed by a final assignment as the Chief of Staff, Supreme Headquarters Allied Powers Europe. During his career, he received the Air Force Distinguished Service Medal the Distinguished Flying Cross, and many other awards and decorations. General Shaw later served as the Executive Director of the Air Force Aid Society and Executive Director of the Air Force Association, where he was responsible for producing Air Force 50 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the U.S. Air Force. The program enjoyed a worldwide attendance of over 600,000 people. He then joined the faculty and professional staff of Air University, serving as the Director of Strategic Studies and the Director of the Air Force Research Institute. And he currently teaches cybersecurity at Air University and is the president of the SHAPE Officers Association. For many years, he also has been the Air Force senior mentor to the Capstone Program. In continuing service to AFA, he was appointed senior advisor in 2013. And General Golfin, if you ever decide to redeploy B-47s, General Shaw is CR, bags packed, at the door. The Air Force Association proudly presents a Lifetime Achievement Award to General John Shaw. Again, thank you very much, and uh, thank you, uh, Chairman Peters and uh, President Wright. I just, uh, I'm in very good company on this stage this evening, and uh, it's great to have the chance to give you a short speech. There's no bad thing about a good short speech, okay? <laughs> the, uh, what I'd like to do is reflect on the views of others that have proved useful in, uh, in my career. Uh, about the time we were building the Air Force Memorial, I was working with uh, General Jumper. And what we were looking for was the reason that people were joining the Air Force. And I never will forget what he came up with because it reflected what I was thinking about when I joined the Air Force. It was this, the airmen with a capital A coming on board were interested in becoming part of something greater than themselves and wanted to be part of a team. That's the kind of young person that is coming on board and will stick with us through deployment after deployment. The second uh, view I'd like to present, I was talking to uh, General Dwayne Cassidy, and uh, the sorry to have lost Dwayne, and Duncan McNabb, and they were talking about retirement. And when it came time to turn off, take off the uh, blue suit, the idea was to give back. Give back this, to this institution that meant so much to us. 
And my thought on that was to participate with AFA. Now, I was part of AFA uh, wearing the uniform, particularly at uh, Fairchild and Minot as the, as the commander. Normally, the Chamber of Commerce uh, Military Committee was led by a person that was the, uh, also the president of AFA. So it was a good contact and the, where I found this very useful, not to go on and on, was when Mount St. Helens erupted and we had mutual concerns and a lot of volcanic ash at Fairchild and in Spokane. The other reason that a lot of us were members of AFA is back in the day, AFA sold insurance that included flying and we love the uh, Air Force magazine. At any rate, it's time to give back and I found myself executive director of AFA. And by the, uh, by the way, uh, Orville, I was in charge of seven of these, okay? And anyway, you'll get used to it. Well, maybe. <laughs> the, uh, I'd like to reflect on one more thing and let me, I would go right along with Ben. Hey, look. Our generation, we're not done yet, okay? The, uh, our mission is service. And particularly uh, my generation, we are very familiar with deployments. When I was growing up in the service and Ken talked about B-47s, we were deployed all over the year, uh, world, actually, with a deterrent mission from Africa, from Europe, from Guam, Guam is where uh, I logged a few hours. At any rate, the business of deployment is something that's always been what the Air Force is all about. And Chief, I'd like to say the, the gathering that we had at the National Cathedral where we celebrated our 72nd birthday with a worship service, the way it ended up, I thought was just great. Isaiah saying, here am I, Lord, send me. And the reason that is very poignant to the chiefs is that as they go down the stairs on their way either to the tank or to the third floor, the tank's a whole lot more fun, but uh, they go by this painting of the chapel at Offutt in Omaha that has written on it these, this, these thoughts of Isaiah. Let me finish with this. I hope everyone will take advantage of this evening in that you're going to run into people that you know. Take a moment to shake hands with one of your former bosses. You know, things don't always go exactly the way you had them figured, either for you or for he or she. And the ones that give you a second chance, and yet, as we would say, another opportunity to excel are very precious in your career and take a moment to shake a hand and, and thank them. The second ones to talk to are your peers. You know, the amazing thing and uh, visiting with the chief about this, uh, it seems that here you're a cadet somewhere. I was a cadet at West Point, but don't worry about that. It was before there was an Air Force Academy that these peers that you are working with and all of a sudden you're running the place. My experience was in Europe, being in Moans at NATO headquarters, the chief of staff in Naples and AF South and at uh, Heidelberg at Userer, we were all classmates. And during the time the law was coming down, we had a lot of discussions. We didn't necessarily agree, but we were operating in an environment of trust 
that is absolutely priceless. And finally, let me say this. Please say hello and thanks to the troops that work for you. And like I can talk to many chief master sergeants and I, my own experience is where they are absolutely invaluable. They not only do what you said, they do what you meant. <laughs> Thank you very much, and this is a great honor for me to be here.